Hello, welcome to the video. I'm here. I'm here. We're here. Thanks for joining. I'm about to talk about all of my pink fragrances. It's Valentine's season. I love Valentine's Day. Nothing is better than, for me, for me, nothing is better than pink, red, and purple all together. But pink is my favorite color. And all of these fragrances just happen to have really cute pink packaging. And I figured maybe I'd talk about that. Maybe quick before I do I did want to show you I'm so excited I have this palette that I put together it's so pretty this is a combination of Natasha Denona's uh, singles well eyeshadows that I depotted from their palettes which is fairly easy to do and I'm so excited. So there's lots of dreamy cool tones, some neutrals and purples. I'm right now I'm wearing Piggy all over my eyelid. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. I'm obsessed. I've already done a few eye looks. You can check them out on my Instagram. I love. So I'm feeling very enthusiastic about that. So let's get started. Okay, let's see which one do I want to go with first. Let me start off with, an, I don't know. You, I haven't even mentioned what I'm about to say yet, but, you know, with Y2K, I mean, you probably, hopefully, I mean, y'all ever heard of Ed Hardy? <laughs> See, when Ed Hardy was cool, I did not think it was that cool, but Ed Hardy came out with some really great fragrances. I have this, this is, so this is Art Ed Hardy for her or for women, Eau de Parfum. Um, I call it Love Kills Slowly because that's the wording that's on it. This just smells so lovely. I'm looking at my notes to see what the notes of the perfume are and it's mango, grapefruit, wild strawberry, and apple, freesia, lime blossom, lily of the valley, amber, vanilla, tonka bean, and musk. This is great. This smells so lovely. You can wear this anywhere, anytime, like I remember I would keep this in my cart, which is not good for fragrances, but I would keep this in the console just to like, just in case. And like right before I would like, I would be, I would get to school because I would get to campus, scroll on my phone after I'd park, just mentally prepare myself for all that was to come for the day. And I'm like, you know what? Let me just, and it's a, it's really cute. Like See how it's clear. This is the um, I one and a half, one no, one point seven ounces. I think. Yes, this is the one point seven ounce. I've already finished up one of these, but my friend she gave it to me as a gift for Christmas, and it's so yummy. Strawberry for me has to be my favorite note ever, and it's strawberry top, big one, strawberry. Freesia and Apple Blossom, close second. They're just so yummy and juicy and, ooh, like you just want to get in there and just, like there's some fragrances that feel like really nice to like waft towards you, but the combination of strawberry, freesia, and Apple Blossom just make you want to like pull in all the air with all of your might in my opinion. <laughs> it's so good. This is a crowd pleaser. Anyone can wear this. And I think this is like a, of course, do what you want to do. But um, I feel like anyone could wear this and just smell really good. Just like, oh, they have their life put together. They're really fun. They like the person who wears this seems like, ooh, like, 
they've got it going on. So highly recommend love. Love it. Love it. And I have like such good memories with it too. So need to know if you have this, I wonder if you have any good memories with it. Ooh. <laughs> See, ah, it's just so cute and pink. I think I'm just going to talk about what you're probably here for, which is Burberry Her. Lots of mixed feelings, lots of thoughts about this. I bought it because I thought it was going to be major strawberry fragrance. I thought it was going to be a major strawberry fragrance. Like a, There's a lot of fruit in here, and when I first got it, I was absolutely in love. And then maybe a month of after using it, I hated it for some reason. I was just like, there is something to it that is just not vibing. It wasn't hitting me right. I'm, let's see. I love the majority of the notes. So they're strawberry, raspberry, blackberry, sour cherry, black currant, mandarin orange and lemon, violet and jasmine, musk vanilla, cashmeran, oak moss, woody notes, amber and patchouli. I don't know that I know enough about fragrance to point out exactly what I didn't like about it, but and I know, like, so I'm just going to leave that thought there and move on to the next one. <laughs> I know a lot of people are comparing this to Baccarat Rouge, also, which is by, um, oh my god, like, who is that by? So, Francis Cardigan, he is the, like, perfumier for... Burberry Her and like a few other scents that are very similar to Baccarat Rouge, which is his own. Let me double check. Yeah, Maison Francis Cardigan. Kirk Dijon. My apologies. I'm messing your name up right now. My bad. And as I smell, like, I know some people are like, oh, absolutely not Baccarat Rouge so exclusive like whatever I'm not spending $300 on a fragrance right now so ultimately it's just a bunch of liquid in a tube like <laughs> but and like this is expensive I mean this was this is kind of expensive I bought this at Ulta I got five times the points at least I hope I did but I got this then, got my little points, and I I do like it. I've used it quite a bit, um, and I'm definitely going to put it back in the rotation now that I'm warming up to a little bit more. I think it's vanilla, <laughs> and that's going to come up again. I'm not super in love with, with vanilla. This fragrance does smell, like, really juicy in the beginning, but when you smell it again, like, as it stays and lingers on your body, it's much more vanilla powder, which is nice. I do appreciate a powdery scent. I really love that. And some people say it smells young. It's in line with what people, what it's in line with what I think of people who wear Glossier U would wear, but for like an evening out. Whereas like Glossier U is so like close and personal. Burberry Her projects a little bit more, but it's a little bit different. So not like other girls while still being like, ooh, like what's that? Like a little flirty, a little ooh. So, but I also like, this is a scent that my mom would wear and my mom is like very sweet and elegant and that, those kinds of vibes, you know, like very like dignified, like you know, like actually would put on like a little body shimmer, you know, like that kind of person. Yes. And yeah, I'm just going to leave it there. 
Next, I'm going to talk about a quick one from Mook Lair. Rest in peace. Terry Mugler, truly icon, like the fashion, amazing. So, I actually have a few Mugler fragrances in my collection, and they are my favorite just because Mugler speaks to me. I imagine myself to be Mugler clientele. In my mind. He doesn't know it, but I am. So here I have Alien Flora Futura. This is so pretty. It's just light white florals over amber and jasmine, if I remember correctly. I love it. I wouldn't make this my everyday scent because the amber is so, like, mysterious. I am fortunately, I'm not mysterious. I'm pretty like out there and I'm not very magnetic as much as I'm reaching out. You know, I'm a little overpowering. This is a little bit more sultry, very like batting your eyes, you know, like that kind of deal. <laughs> This is sexy. This is fun. This is light. It's definitely lighter than the It's definitely lighter than Alien now. But I I like this smells so good. I don't think that this is for every person, but the person whom it is for, they wear it well. Now we're going to talk about my personal signature scent. And this is Angel Nova by Mugler. Hello. Hello. <laughs> this is us. This is us together. This is us doing our thing. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to spritz it just a little, like... <sighs> this is delicious. This is divine. This is me. This is not a subtle girl. I'm not subtle. Like this is a little grabs you and pulls you in close. Oh, it's so good. The There's very few notes. There's very few notes in it um, in comparison to like a few of the other perfumes that I've mentioned. The top notes are raspberry and lychee. Then it's upcycled rose, as they call it on their website, so it's probably like a synthetic rose. And then the base notes are Akigalia wood and benzoin. Benzoin. I probably should have taken two seconds to look it up, but I'm not. So it's just not a word that I'm coming across that often. So my bad, my bad. This is beautiful. Like, I love that this is in your face. To some people, this smells horrible. And I understand that because it is quite overpowering. It's very strong. And I love that. I love it. I love, love, love it. The combination of the juicy raspberry and lychee, like, incredibly sweet with the, with rose. And I love rose. I love rose so much because I feel like it's it's like tr all the ideas about like femininity. It's like, ooh, like a little flower. And, but like all the aspects of like Rose being like very sweet and soft and a little powdery. And Rose for me in a lot of ways, like more recent, like before this year, well, bef before like the past two years, every time I smelled something Rose, I was like, yeah, that smells good, but rose is kind of like a mother, grandmother scent. Like, every time I would smell it, I'm like, that's just not me. But when I smell this, it does feel like me. It feels like me. And the combination of that with the Akigalia wood, which is so punchy and so warm and so, like, 
overwhelming. <laughs> I love, I love, I love, I feel like this is my personality in a bottle. It's absolutely a delight and I'm so glad to just like hose myself down in it. I know that sometimes some people compare these two or like these two are often in conversation with each other for Baccarat Rouge and from the people who say that these are not similar to Baccarat Rouge, I'm just going to tell you they're not. Or like Delina, oh I'm very, ex I'm very intrigued by Delina. I'm very intrigued by a lot of these like niche luxury designer fragrances but I just don't know that those are coming into my life anytime soon and I'm really enjoying these and all of their subtleties and not so subtleties so yeah this one's definitely my favorite just yes 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 a thousand times yes Ooh. okay so we just talked about a fragrance that I love 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 and now we're going to talk about a fragrance that I wish I could forget. <laughs> okay, maybe that's a little rude, but Pink Sugar and I are not on speaking terms. We're not. And I have a giant bottle of this. I've considered, like, giving it away. I don't know. Like, I just keep telling myself, like, maybe you'll like it. Just like it. Like, you can be that person. You can be the person that likes this. But I just... And look, I'm probably going to eat my words because I sprayed this yesterday. And I was like, maybe that is actually delightful. Maybe that's actually, like, really sort of nice. This has a cacophony... Of notes. In my search for the notes on this, I saw that it was being dis discontinued. If so, to all the fans, my apologies. To all the haters like me, it's another day. So, this. Okay, so there's raspberry, orange, fig leaf, bergamot, cotton candy, licorice, sweet berry, strawberry, lily of the valley, caramel, vanilla, musk, tonka bean, and sandalwood. I've never had to say sandalwood with such contempt, but really, honestly, my biggest issues are the caramel, vanilla, and I read somewhere, oh yeah, licorice. To me, it smells so overwhelmingly of vanilla. I can't. It's like, like, if you love vanilla scents, this is totally for you. This is totally, totally, totally for you because you, you would smell like a very delightful caramel sugar cookie, like freshly baked, just delightful but for me like this is a nice scent to smell on other people but not for me no 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 I don't I don't like it I don't like it but I would love to hear you wax poetic about you loving it if you love it. I, I would. I would. No. See, I this is actually one of the first fragrances I bought myself in my fragrance journey. Like, I saw raspberry and I was like, okay. I saw cat and candy and see knowing myself I love sweet scents so I thought sh cotton candy would be for me I don't want to smell like cotton candy I know that now so sometimes you gotta make a blind buy and make a mistake and then you learn from it so lessons that we learned along the way <laughs> so moving on from that Ugh. Mm -mm -mm. 
the last three fragrances we're going to talk about are some of my favorites. I know that I'm like, oh, so favorites, but I just, I love pink. I love the notes that are in these fragrances. Let's get into it. Atelier Cologne's Pacific Lime. She is a sweetheart. Mm, 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 mm. I pined after this for so long. This smells like a delicious mojito. Like a mojito and a pina colada sit next to each other on the beach. And they're just like, we're the best, aren't we? And they're like, yes, we are. The notes are lime, lemon, coconut, spearmint, and eucalyptus, which is just so fresh and clean and bright and sexy. Like, you can wear this to brunch. You can wear this to a hot summer evening. This, mm, 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 mm. If you, it's like sunshine. It's sunshine. Just, mm. yes. Love, love, love. Love, love, love. Sweetheart. So, like, Atelier Cologne makes some great fragrances. Some really, really great fragrances. This was very pricey, but I would recommend. And they do have a lot of um, samples. Let's start there. And look at how cute it is. Ah, like, of course, the scent is the most important part. But I love this because it's just, it's juicy. It's just psh, like a burst. Mmm. Yum. Next, I have Gucci Rush 2. Freesia. Lily of the Valley. Rose. Palm tree, lily, and gardenia, black currant, musk, and oak moss. And those are the ones that really grab a hold of me. Gardenia, white florals are very, are very, are very nice. They're great. They're like crowd pleasing. Like you smell them, and they just smell like they smell like the cover of a home, home and gardens. Is that what it's called? You know, like. Ooh, like I just want to get my whole life together, like, mmm. And then, ugh, Lily of the Valley and Freesia. It smells like new beginnings. And I know that Gucci Rush, the original, is like a club-going fragrance. So the fact that they came out with this, like, this is very girly, like, ooh, like, flirty, like, oh, hello, like, what's up, like... Yes, it's so yummy, like fresh, juicy, floral. And the oak moss gives it such a wonderful depth. I adore oak moss as a base note because it's just, it's it's different. I, I don't feel that it's present in that many fragrances or at least that many popular fragrances. So when I smell it, I'm just like, it gives it a lot of oomph. Would recommend, I got this from uh, fragrancenet.com I get the majority of my fragrances from them the grip they have on me every time they're like hey we got a sale and I'm like I know you do please leave me be but also don't because I love it I love fragrances they're so nice in terms of like what I love to smell like what I feel at my best I'm rotating between this one and this one these two tag team and I'm living my best life I feel like I'm a movie star I'm just rocking the world and now to end the video I'll be talking about this last fragrance which is discontinued and it breaks my heart because it is so good this is Vixen by Victoria's Secret I bought this on Amazon for an absurd amount of money but I just had to have it because of the strong, strong memories I have connected to it. So this was one of my mom's fragrances 
when I was in high school and I would steal it and hose myself down on it and just be like in my room, like have a little fashion show, like put on all my clothes and be like, hello, don't talk to me, like <laughs> write some poems and be like, oh my gosh, when am I going to be that girl? I feel like that's most of life's struggles, wishing you were that person. But anyway, the notes are apple blossom, freesia petals, and vanilla bean. This is hot, sexy, butterfly, like social butterfly. Everyone wants to be close to her. Everyone wants to dance with her. Like, mm. I do have the atomizer that's like, it sucks, unfortunately, but it is just, mm. ah, it's so, when I want to be like, oh, I'm a hot girl, I pull this out. And if you like happen to know a fragrance that smells just like this, please, 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 please let me know. It is just, it rocks my world. It rocks my world. It is so good. And I'm thankful that I got it, even though it was like a lot, but I just want to be a vixen. I just want to be a vixen. But anyway, so these are all my pink fragrances. So good. Yeah, if you like, if you are looking to buy a pink fragrance that makes you feel like you're walking on air, I would highly suggest this Ed Hardy fragrance like it knocks out of the park like yummy every day Y2K and it's I think it's like relatively affordable in comparison to quite a few of these it's just yummy it's so good like this I yeah I would highly recommend it's delish that's that's all that's all I got from here. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please subscribe and like. Yeah, let me know what you thought of this video, these fragrances. I've just had so much fun chatting with you. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.